sometimes you go do 12 miles and if you start and stop at your house it's so easy to go turn the doorknob to go back inside your house without doing Here we go, the Adidas Takubi Sen 8 is the running shoe of choice for this Marathon Monday. That's right, hope everyone's doing well, a new week, new opportunity to turn that doorknob out there wherever you're watching around the world. By the way, last week there was over 200 comments as far as where you're watching around the world. It's literally every, con well, except for maybe Antarctica, almost every continent around the world. Thanks for tuning in wherever you're watching from. So April 10th is the, hopefully the goal. And I, by the way, we are gonna take this shoe to 50 miles and I'll get, to, I'll get back to what I did for my run today here in a second. Uh, but I think we're at about, let me think, I think we're not quite halfway. So we will get it to 50 miles sooner rather than later. Uh, but the goal is April 10th, Rotterdam Marathon, hopefully, fingers crossed, okay? But I did announce yesterday on Twitter that I am starting to explore other opportunities, always backup plans, especially this day and age, you gotta have backup plans, you know? So I have backup plans, I've got a lot of backup plans, but hopefully it is going to be Rotterdam, depending on what's happening around the world. This is video three in the new playlist leading into Rotterdam. So every Monday filming a new vlog all about my marathon training, okay? So week three, last week we talked about how to set your goal race pace. Today we're talking about base building for your marathon training. And then with a twist for me, and why is there a twist? I'll explain in a second, which actually connects to what you just saw at the track, okay? And so, but in addition, thanks to DGR out there, creating some charts for me and some Excel spreadsheets, very exciting. Uh, shout out to Mark and Emil, Emil from uh, Sweden. So thank you so much for creating these charts. But first of all, depending on your experience level, that will help determine, that's not the only factor, but it will help determine how long your base building phase of your marathon training block needs to be or half marathon if you're getting ready for a half marathon shout out to everybody on discord who's training also for a half marathon on april 10th all right are you guys you guys know who you are actually raise your hands down in the comments if you're training for a half marathon on april 10th okay i'm training for a marathon but some people are training for half marathon so traditionally base building is four weeks sometimes six weeks, where you begin to establish that baseline fitness for the, the harder stuff, the harder training later in, I shouldn't call it stuff, because it's hard, the harder volume, the harder workouts later in the training block. So for me, I started out at 45 miles a week. Here's the chart, shout out to Mark, okay, 45, 60, 75, 90. Now, my volume is going up more aggressively because I've been training for 22 years. I've now been injury free for almost two years. That's another big factor. If you've been struggling with injuries, go slower. Don't go 15 miles a week. I would recommend five miles a week, seven miles a week, if you're ascending up in your volume, okay? Now this also, here's the twist, and this is what you witnessed at the track. I have to resist running so much in this training block. You know, that 140 miles a week, over and over and over again like I did for New York City. Therefore, instead of, let's say, running from my house or even parking, frankly, at the gym, I'm gonna do more of this where I park, and I did this a little bit leading into the New York City Marathon training block, but this is the twist. I'm gonna be parking at tracks, tracks where I have access and it's I can go there and use the track 
because uh, when you go to the track and you park at the track, I'll just say, it's more, in, this is actually maybe a little tip of the day. Um, you know, you can always do strides in front of your house, in front of your apartment, in front of your dorm room, if you're in college. But there's something about parking at a track, and that's the, that's the tip, is find a track. Wherever you live around the world, if there's one around, maybe, if they, you know, it's, sometimes it's hard to get access if it's closed to the public, but if you can find one that's open to the public, um, you can park there, go do your six mile run, eight mile run, maybe you're running 15 miles, a middle distance run, but then you go back to the track, and yes, you do 300 meter repeat. So here is my run on your screen that I did today, again, in the Adidas tap. I like saying Adidas, I must say, a little more so than Adidas. Adidas, that's how they say it, I believe, in Europe, just so for all the Americans out there. Um, the Adidas Takumi Sen 8. Um, so here's the workout, here's the run and the mini workout. So I did six by 300 meters after uh, 12 miles, okay? So six by 300 meters with a 100 meter jog. Sometimes you go do 12 miles and if you start and stop at your house, it's so easy to go turn the doorknob to go back inside your house without doing the strides, without doing the diagonals, if you might, maybe you live by a soccer field, or without doing the, um, without doing the, in my case today, the 300 meter repeats, in addition to the base building phase, okay? We wanna prepare our muscles, our tendons, our ligaments, our bones as well, our bones as well, especially if you're injury prone with respect to stress fractures, to the pounding, to the, what I have learned, uh, we wanna prepare for the suppleness, that explosive movement, okay? I actually made a vlog all about how to run faster, increase the suppleness of your muscles, tendons, ligaments, which is why I love going up to the mountains so much and seeking out that vertical gain. Oh yeah, and here is the rest of the week's schedule, okay? So for those that are interested, and actually let's do it right now. Uh, I was gonna wait for it here in a minute, but let's do it now. Question of the day, what does your entire week of training look like? I don't know, I think I've asked this before. If you have the time, bonus points, if you have the time to list, it will, if, you, if your week starts on Sunday, that's fine, but mine start on Monday, so go Monday to Sunday, all right? Just like this format, Monday through Sunday. What do you do in every week? You don't have to run, or every day of the week. You don't have to list, uh, if you, maybe you have a rest day, put rest day for Thursday, or maybe you have a cross training day, or maybe you have a, just a gym day, whatever the case, you don't have to run every single day, but just list what you're doing, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all the way to Sunday, okay? So here is mine, once again, on your screen, in case you're interested in, in checking it out. Now, I will put an asterisk. I remain flexible. First of all, life happens. Family life, like family, this is why, so you might be wondering, like I, I, on the weekends, I try to be as present as possible to the family. Obviously this upcoming weekend is Christmas. Um, so I'll be very flexible as far as my volume and my mileage, just so you're aware. But this is the basic breakdown of what I'll be doing this week. Okay, sound good? Does that help? All right, again, this week will be 75 miles. Now let's move on real quick to uh, one second, one second. Let me just pull it up. A big shout out to Emil, Emil, Emil from, I believe, Stockholm, okay? He could, uh, get, uh, it's just amazing. Now, I'm not gonna mess around with it too much live with you, but essentially what you could do, how, oh, Emil, I don't know if I'm gonna make this public for everybody, I need to talk a little bit more with you, but I just wanna show you, for example, right now, I'll just put it at 30, okay? You see the change there, boom. So this is a percentage of Seth's, so here's my volume. And so he plugged my volume in, and let's say you are tra you want to train for the marathon alongside me, uh, leading into April 10th. But let's say you want to peak out at 55 miles. Boom! You plug it in. Boom! Okay, it changes. Isn't that so cool? Now he is breaking it down. Let's see. Again, I'm I'm still kind of working on this graph. It looks like he's breaking it down by kilometers. I'll try to break it down. So 55 miles. Here it is in kilometers as well. Okay, I see what he's doing there. Uh, it's interesting. So, but let's, I'm always recommending for a marathon, at least train at 70 miles a week. Um, if you can get to 70, that's when I find fitness really, actually this week, 
This week, it's very exciting. I cross over 70, I'll hit 75 miles. So let's put it at 70, okay? So there you go, you see how it changes, okay? Very interesting. And then, actually, I'm just gonna bump it up. I'm gonna bump it up to, I'm gonna say 85. I, if you can somehow, let's say you really wanna chase down a Boston qualifier and you wanna take maybe a little bit of a calculated risk, let's say you traditionally train at 70 miles a week, and you're willing to go up to 80 or 85, let's just put it at 85 and see what that looks like, okay? So that would be 65% of my volume leading into Rotterdam. There you go. Emil, this is amazing, okay? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Also, he created this Calculate Your Race Marathon Pace based on my, based on last week's vlog. So again, with my projected time at one, sorry, my PR at 105.43, um, I'm just going to plug it in again. So that means um, baseline pace of 307. Uh, this is based on my PR in Naples, Florida. So again, you add your eight seconds per kilometer, puts you at 314. Anyway, Emil, this is amazing. Thank you for helping DGR. And Emil, let's talk a little bit more about potentially sharing this with DGR around the world. Everybody, that's today's Marathon Monday. I know I just shared a lot about base building, about um, just getting ready for the hard stuff, okay? It's not quite time. We're still early, week three of uh, 18 weeks. And Rotterdam, um, I'm hoping it happens. I'm gonna remain patient, gonna remain patient, but we gotta have backup plans in today's modern world. You guys understand that. Okay, let's toss it to the playlist, the marathon training playlist for Rotterdam. Oh, Rotterdam, please, the Netherlands, please. Let's do this, let's make it happen. Oh my goodness, let's go fast. It's gonna happen, right? It's gonna happen. Hmm, might need to sneak in through a cargo ship. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I don't wanna get in trouble. All right, well, here, click there, click there, click there, right there, right there, right there. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.